Are you arresting me? Until we decide what's going to happen, yes, you are going to be handcuffed. Mr. Doe, what is your physical address, sir? I'm not giving you my physical address either, sir. So this is a Nazi Germany. Yes. This is America. All right, Liberty Trollers, we're outside the tax collector for Polk County, Florida. Beautiful flag out front, looks to be in good condition. Also, as you can see, we have the uh, a Polk County Sheriff vehicle out front. So I would assume there is a or some law enforcement inside. We're just exercising our First Amendment right to freely uh, take pictures and video inside of our public buildings that we pay for with our taxes. Uh, it's under freedom of press, First Amendment. And without further ado, let's head on in. It's not as crowded as I thought it would be. Now serving ticket and 181 at station 9. A beautiful flag. There's cameras all throughout the building. Now serving ticket G184 at station 3. You guys hate it when you see me get drinks from the water fountain. Where you get your picture taken. <clears throat> no. hmm? oh, I'm good. Thank you. All right, so that's this area. Then you have uh, testing. These chairs look comfortable, actually. This is where they... Pay one, six, pay one. Testing. Sir? Mm -hmm. Pay one, six, pay one. That's your ticket number? No, ma'am. No? no, no. Okay, so are you, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. You already told them in the front? No. No? No, I just walked in. So they're doing testing. Okay. Hi, sir. Hey, how you doing? Good. So you're not allowed to record back here because of confidential information that's recorded. You're allowed to record out there all you want, but unfortunately, you're not going to be allowed to record back here. Hi. Right, what's your name again? My name is Gail Stason. I'm the manager. Gail, nice to meet you. I'm nice Zach. You. Yeah, I'm just uh, filming all I'm able to see from public. That's all. Okay. All right. But because there's confidential information shared back mm -hmm. here, you're not allowed to record back here. Yeah. yeah. How okay. you doing, sir? Well, hey. Good. How are you? So, Can I get your name and badge number? Michael Bonner, 6038. Thank okay. you, I appreciate I'm it. I'm going to ask you to interact with me, not him, okay? But we do need you to step back into the lobby so you can record out there. Well, I can record anywhere that's public, right? No, sir, Officer. not like Well, this area really isn't public. This is testing. 
Well, I'm not let's back step, Let's step up out here, please, sir. I, I will. Okay, I will in a minute. Let's do that right now. No, sir, not in a minute. You were, we'll do you were doing so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gail, but right? We need to have our, yes. But okay. we need to have our conversation out there, not back here. So I'm going to ask you okay. to go out to the lobby and we'll talk out there. Well, I'm going to finish getting my pictures and stuff and then I'll head no, out sir, there. No, sir. I just walked in. not back here. So you don't have any signage so, uh, yeah. that says restricted area? No, I don't. But there's confidential information that's back here. So Every public building has confidential information. I understand. Information. That. But we have people back here testing right now. So we I'm not, take I'm not this filming confirmation. We're I'm not talking, filming which can be distracting to them when they're trying to. The only reason why I'm still here is because you came out and talked to me, which I'm okay with. Well, you can talk to me. That's fine. Well, we're going to talk out here so we're not distracting them. Well, and you're not allowed res to record Respectfully, back here. I'm not going to follow your okay, directives. Okay, please, please escort him out. Okay. Okay, let's go, sir. Are you escorting me out, sir? I am escorting you. Would you like him to trespass from the property? Um, I will follow up with you on that in just a moment. Okay. Because I'm sir. not breaking the law or anything, so Let's go, sir. don't touch me, sir, sir, don't touch me. Let's go, sir. Why are you touching me? Because is that a law? Is that a lawful order? It is a lawful order. What What happens if I don't leave? What happens if I don't leave? Are you arresting me? Until we decide what's going to happen, yes, you are going to handcuffs. Are you arresting me? Until we decide what's going to happen, yes, you are going to handcuffs. Hey, don't turn that, do, do not turn off my camera. <clears throat> Is this your bag? No. Hey, you missed my phone. Do not, do not stop recording that. Say what? It's one of the stars. Page 187. violate my rights right now, civil rights. You were asked to step out here multiple times. I'm a law-abiding citizen, sir. I don't have to leave because I'm... She doesn't because like what I'm doing. Yeah, well, if they asked me not to come in there because I was because I have black skin, would you enforce that policy? You were in a security... Not a necessarily secured area. Well, what's it labeled? But an area that there's information that doesn't need to be... Yeah, I mean... I'm not recording information, sir, but it's not against the law to capture that. It's what you do with it criminally is against the law. Yeah. I just want to let you know here. Okay. Once we determine what's going to happen, we'll go from there. Okay. 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 Consent to unlawful seizures. You're about to go in the back seat of my truck, so. So I'm under arrest? You're being arrested. What law you suspect me of uh, committing? I know you said she asked me to leave, but what, what law am I suspecting of committing? At or, this or point? Violating, excuse me. Possibly trespass until we determine what's going to happen. Well, it's trespass after warning, though. Yeah, you were asked to step out multiple times, sir. Deputy Sheriff is about to turn off my body camera once again, which is against the law. So shortly after the Deputy Sheriff unlawfully does this, he brought Gail, the service manager there at the tax collector's office, um, who you saw inside, who did not want me recording in that publicly accessible area, um, to the police vehicle where I was handcuffed, as you see me there, and had her read me a trespass warning, which I'm pretty sure was solicited. Uh, Gail proceeded to ask me if I would willingly leave the public property. I responded in front of Deputy Montalbano that I would leave under threat of arrest and only under threat of arrest. Otherwise, I wanted to continue taking photographs if they were just requesting that I leave. Eventually, I was released from the police vehicle and torture cuffs to begin recording again while Deputy Montalbano unlawfully demanded for my private information to issue the trespass warning as you're about to see. I'm having to explain this, unfortunately, because... Uh, Grady Judd's gang do not utilize body cameras. Go figure. All right, so you can just put John Doe on the well, on the I'm trespass. Need your correct information for the trespass. You can so. just you can just put my description down. Legally speaking, in the state of Florida, you just put my physical description down. Joe John Doe is a name. If you want, need to put a name down, but I'm not giving you my name willingly. You don't need my private information to do a trespass. Well. 
Mr. Doe, what is your physical address, sir? I'm not giving you my physical address either, sir. Okay. Just okay. put my physical description. Tell and you what, that's all you need. Just hang tight right there, sir. Okay. And what's your sergeant's name? How are you? I'm Sergeant Wood with the Polk County Sheriff's Office. How are you? I'm good. I'm and Sergeant Wood. Record me anytime yeah, you are, want. are you guys not recording with the Polk County Department? No, sir, we don't. Oh, man, y'all should get those. Uh, <laughs> Transparency and accountability. Talk to sheriff about, okay? uh, maybe but I will. All right. I'm just doing my job. Okay. So, what is the situation here today? I was just in there taking pictures and video, gathering content for a story. Before I had a chance to even answer any questions for, from anybody, uh, the woman in there, Gail, I guess she's the uh, manager of some sort. Mm -hmm. And she asked me to uh, not go back into the testing area, which I wasn't. I was recording from a public space. You can film all you can see. Similar to Plainview Doctrine that you guys have. You can flash, flash your flashlights, people's cars and whatnot. Um, and then he came out a little hot. I introduced myself. He introduced himself. You know, he identified himself, which was good. Um, but uh, he immediately grabbed my arm because she kept asking that I leave. And I politely said, I'm not going to leave willingly or I'm not going to follow your directives just because you want me to go out to the lobby. When I finish, I'll go out to the lobby. I'm just, I'm ga still gathering my content. I'm not getting, doing anything illegal. I'm not disrupting so anybody's an business. You've been asked to yeah, remove but yourself it's from. a public building. If it was a private building and, and it was like a manager of, a, of like a bank or something saying, you can't go back in the area, I'm asking you to leave, I would absolutely 100% have to leave but at that you don't point. I understand she has the right of the manager of the establishment and business to have you removed from the property. Not a law abiding citizen. Yes, she if can. I'm disrupting business, which I was, I'm not keeping anyone from doing their job. You're recording in the business that where they're testing and where this is basically personal information, it's tests to do driver's license, it's things like every, that. Every public Have building. you asked people in there if you can record them? If I go to Disney and take pictures, do I have to ask every single person well, I'm taking a picture of them? They are in a <laughs> place where they are getting their driver's license, they're doing tax documents, they're doing all this stuff. Okay. So this is a different establishment than you would at Disney. So with what I was doing in there, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? This is the thing. They have asked you to be trespassed from the property. But what if so, they were asking to trespass me for having dark skin? You wouldn't enforce that, would you? Let's do this. It's unconstitutional. Let's be logical. Let's be constitutional and let's logical. Let's be logical in reference yeah. to this situation. I'm they logical. They have asked you to be removed from the establishment, which that, that is their right. I'm not breaking any law. It's not a right. They, they have they, asked to be trespassed. They've asked you not to record in there where people are taking the test, where they're doing their documents, things like that. You can understand this is not a Disney World, Bush Garden, somewhere like that where you're going to... I use that example to, to, you know, just say you don't go around asking people if you can well, get your their picture. My example, and that's a private. Logical. And so, and, and public. Not. So, no, it is logical. I was making the point that at Disney World, if you take a selfie and you got 4,000 people behind you, you're not going to go around and ask everybody if you have their permission to be in your, your picture. This is, this is public, though. In public, you don't have to do that. Hang on one second. You have been asked to remove yourself from the property. Well, I'm off now. Done. No, you're not. You're not off the property. Well, I'm not they filming where they... They have now asked for you to be trespassed. Okay. So at this point, you're no longer legally allowed to be at this property. All right, so, so am, I, am I officially have... trespassed? You are officially okay. trespassed. Am I going to get like a form or something like that so I can put you, you all need as a to defendant? provide your information. We will give you all of our information. Oh, I'm not giving out my private information because that's, that's well, uh this is the thing. Give us your name, needed. your date of birth. We'll pull it up. We're not out here publicizing. Okay, well, then I don't need it then. So... Your name again, Sergeant Wood, and what's your badge number? 7250. Okay, and what was yours again, sir? But this is the thing, you're not, 
Okay. You're not free to leave because we're in an investigation where you're being trespassed from this property. So we need your information. If you want to do it privately. Well, it's unlawful to detain it because I wasn't breaking the law. If she wants me out the property, you guys are going to try to enforce an unconstitutional. You're in an investigation. You were refusing to provide your information. We don't know who you are. We don't know what you're doing. Things like that. You don't know who, what this lady's doing with the but pink hat on. I guarantee you if I go up to her and ask her if she could provide her information, you can freely tell me it. You can guarantee you that? Yeah. That's a... I'm sure she has no problem because she's not here to do anything. <laughs> malicious or anything like so that. because i'm exercising my fourth amendment I, i'm malicious or nefarious you, no you can exercise your right all you want well you obviously not being, because you're yes, you logically can, you're you're violating my rights no i'm not your name's going to be on a civil have, lawsuit and you're going to lose it and you lose your qualified immunity as that's well as him fine. The thing of it it's not is my is first rodeo you are being trespassed from the property the thing of it is okay well then i'll what leave is, what is your name and what i'm is not your information? i'm not giving my name unless i have to by law you do by law because we are conducting an investigation Okay, well, I don't have to help you with your investigation. I'll work for the police department. Well, this is, we can detain you until you're willing to do it's that. It's unlawful can detainment. You, in, you, can only, you can only detain me for, what, 10 minutes? You have been trespassed from this property. Your cooperation okay, well, then I gotta leave let then. you go sooner. It's, you, you can only be arrested if you're, if you're if after warning, you is, don't leave. The reason that you're acting like this is because you probably are one of the people that want to act out with law enforcement, which... That's fine. No, I respect law enforcement. Fine. I support law enforcement. I'm a, I'm a conservative. I, I voted for thing. Trump twice. If I you... Listen, I, I, I want you to do your job. I'm not asking you to treat me any differently than the average citizen. I yeah, want to see our I want to see our police and I want to see our public servants upheld our rights. You swore an oath to the Constitution, did you not? Both we of you. Are upholding the rights. So the you're you're violating my rights. No, yes, not. you are. You First are Amendment, freedom of press. Where we are not identifying yourself. I don't have to identify yes, myself. Do. This isn't Nazi Germany. Yes. This is America. Learn the Constitution. Uphold your oath. I think afterwards, when you find out what I'm doing, I think you might support what I'm doing. <clears throat> so are you a... Uh, are you a big believer in the Constitution? You try your best to uphold those rights, afford it to the people? I do, sir. Okay. Well, hopefully after today, you'll you'll learn when it comes to freedom of press rights, you treat those no different than like, say, freedom of speech or, you know, Second Amendment and so on and so forth. We have five freedoms afforded to us, we the people under the First Amendment. You gotta respect all five of them. Have you ever had this kind of situation before inside of the tax collector's office, someone taking pictures and video? No, sir, I have not. But I have had instances where somebody in authority at that facility has asked somebody to leave, and if they're not right. leaving willingly. Well, if they're breaking the law or if they're disrupting business and keeping them from doing their jobs, that's that's one thing. But if somebody's not breaking the law and they're peacefully just taking pictures and video, gathering content for a story as citizen press, they can't ask them, to, they can ask, but they can't enforce it. You guys are the only ones that can enforce it, but if you're enforcing something that's unlawful, it comes down on you in, in court. You can lose your qualified immunity that way. Just, you know, I'm all about education. That's why I'm, one of the reasons why I'm here. I'm glad you got your supervisor that takes it off of you. <laughs> but if you think about it, there's cameras all around the building and any member of the public can can FOIA request that footage and they can use that footage without question for they can put it on social media they can whatever so it's not illegal what you capture on video what is illegal is if you criminally uh like sell that information or do something unlawful with that information but just to capture it that's that's not against the law how long have you been in law enforcement about 18 years oh wow are you a deputy or sheriff? Sheriff, right? Deputy oh, sheriff? Deputy sheriff. Oh. And that's the sergeant? It is the on duty patrol sergeant, yes. All right. Who's your all's captain? Davis. Davis? Mind if I come around the back of the car and just get some video of it real quick? Take video of the car. All right. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to go around the car.
So when someone's trespassed from a building, they can be arrested uh, lawfully if they don't leave at that point. But once they've been warned and the police officer threatens the citizen with arrest and the citizen then leaves and you guys don't need, legally, you don't need have to get their uh, inf private information. Well, but see, you're being trespassed from the property, which means you're not allowed back on the property. Correct. And we have to be able to positively identify that person physical, not just by what yeah. they're wearing. Physical description, um, you can put, I mean, because I don't have to get up, because it's not breaking the law unless you violate the trespass. You know what I mean? You're absolutely correct. It's not breaking the law unless you violate the trespass. However, yeah. you could have a twin brother. Your twin brother is not trespassed from the property, but you are. I, I get I it. If I have his physical description, then I don't know if it's you or your twin brother, and I could unlawfully arrest him. I get it. I get it. But the way it works in the United States, uh, by law, is that you, you have to be breaking the law in order to get that information. Um, you have to. You can't enforce that information for someone. You can ask, but you can't enforce it unless they've actually broken the law. That's the beauty of the United States: is that you don't have to give up that information unless you, you know, you've, you've done something to break the law. <coughs> But when I get trespassed from buildings, I don't go back until I get it um, quashed or I fight it in court, so. It's really not that much to investigate. I simply walked in, exercising peacefully my, my freedom of press rights under the First Amendment. A lady who works here said, uh, who I pay with my tax dollars, uh, asked me to leave and I politely said, well, I'm not going to uh, leave into the lobby until I finish getting my pictures and video. And then you saw how quickly that escalated from there. It's not like, you know, there's not much to investigate beyond that. Where's your all's um, police department located? The Northeast District is just up the road on Dunson Road, 1100 Dunson Road. The main office is 1891 Jim Keene. Okay. Which is in Winter Haven. Is Davis at the... He's at Northeast. Northeast? That's the first location? Yes, yep. 1100 okay. Dunson Road. All right. Thanks. Y'all really should get the body cameras, though. Well, again, that's something that you'd have to discuss with the sheriff. We don't run body cameras, nor do we run an in-car camera. Man, y'all should, though. That's for your own protection and also, you know, for the, for the citizens. Transparency and accountability, man. It's the only people I could see not liking that would probably be. I'm not saying you are, but like a crooked cop or something probably wouldn't want that. But as long as everyone's doing their job appropriately, it just protects you and protects the people you're you're serving, you know. But I'll talk. I'll talk to um, you know whoever I would need to speak with about it. This is the first um, county that I've encountered personally that doesn't have the body cams. It's pretty pretty standard anywhere else you go. Right now we're still in the midst of an investigation. Mm -hmm. So until that investigation is complete, you're not free to leave. I know, but it's it's you, state of Florida, you can you have 10 or 20 minutes, one of the two. Like if you don't finish your investigation, you can detain somebody only for 10 or 20 minutes, one of the two. I can't remember which one it is. Do you know which one it is? I'm not, no. Because you know, you can't detain somebody all day, obviously. So there's like a, there's a stipulation on how, how long, what the time frame is on that, so. I believe it says a reasonable amount of time. And right now, since the investigation is still ongoing. Okay. So you guys know I'm all for law and order. You know, I told you all before, I voted for Trump twice probably going to vote for him a third time. So I respect law enforcement, especially when they do their jobs right. You know, I just, I, you know, I want to make sure in this case, you guys are upholding your oath. That's, that's key here. Cause that's the number one thing you guys have to keep prior, have to prioritize over anything else is making sure that our rights are being upheld. And I get the whole private information thing, but any, you go into any private or any public building, it's the same same story. They all have, there's, there's private information being, you know, but the onus is not on a member of the public and that's not my responsibility to protect that information. It's on, it's on them to protect that information, but they have to do so without eroding or stepping on our rights.
And the reason they don't need cell phones back in the testing areas is because they don't want them cheating on the test. But if I'm recording them taking their test, that's not, you know, it's, logically that's not doing anything uh, <coughs> nefarious or it's not certainly not breaking the law. I'm guessing the sergeant is on her, uh, on the phone with her boss, right? I Lieutenant can't, or? I can't answer who she's speaking with. See, that's what I don't like. See that, uh, see that blue line flag on the truck behind you? I see that as a desecration of the American flag. I love this country and I hate that our rights are being eroded, but that blue line signifies like the, you know, doing, you know, justice for the brothers in blue instead of blind justice, which should be blind, you know? And what I'm here, part of the reason why I'm here is because, um, you know, I want blind justice. I want the people to be able to exercise their rights freely in, in uh, America, where we're the only country in the world that has a, has a First Amendment. But if you don't exercise them, they're like muscles. They tend to fade away if you don't exercise them. Otherwise, they're just words on paper. And what do you think of the same flag with a red line or with the yellow line? I don't. I think it's a desecration of the American flag. I think you should just leave the American flag alone. I think what it symbolizes already is, I mean, can't be more perfect, you know? It's just a gang symbol. It has that mentality of, you know, I'm here to defend my brothers in blue or I'm here to, I'm here to enforce feelings or policy. You guys are law enforcement. You guys should enforce the law. And uh, again, justice is blind. That's why I'm a big supporter of, you know, this country and how it's designed to, to operate. I hope she's quick because I got to go to work here pretty soon. In a perfect world, what should have happened in there is if I was a police officer, knowing what I know now, what should have happened was Gail should have been talked to uh, respectfully and say, hey, this gentleman is not breaking the law. I understand the whole private information thing, however you want to say it, but you know, she can't kick somebody off a of property. You, know, you guys can't, she can't have you enforce taking a law abiding citizen off of public property um, for exercising, for being engaged in constitutionally protected activity. Um, I've seen it before where officers, they already have been through this rodeo before and they just pull them aside and explain to them like, Hey, this guy's not breaking the law. I understand it can be uncomfortable, but you know, this country's designed to be so you don't give up uh, freedoms for security it's just part of it hey go ahead. did you get the message go ahead thank you Take all right so you are being placed under arrest oh really all right just don't turn that on right. here if you hold that he's been What's the, uh, what law have I broken? I think you're supposed to... Do you have any knives or anything on you that we should know about? No, I don't have any knives. And, and don't turn off the video either. I told you I turn off the video. I was unlawfully arrested and charged for three misdemeanors, namely trespass, fail to leave upon proper owner order to do so, two, resisting arrest without violence, three, false ID given to law enforcement officer. All three are absolutely bogus, as you can see. I was never released from unlawful detainment to have the opportunity to leave. I never resisted, and I never gave a false ID to law enforcement. What happened next was I was handcuffed and placed in the police vehicle again while they ran the tags of every vehicle in the parking lot. When the sergeant couldn't find my car, she asked me where it was, to which I responded that she doesn't need to know. She eventually found my car at a local business and had my car towed in retaliation. I spent 48 hours in jail and I'm seeking a civil lawsuit. And I will make sure that these law enforcement officers are held accountable for unlawfully trespassing and arresting 
a law-abiding citizen for participating in constitutionally protected activity. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.